ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the worst kept secret is now out in the public domain. You're already here, which makes this obviously pre-recorded. What are you most nervous about? Um, hungry? Hungry, Lack probably. Hungry. Uh, just to have everything that Hask's said is that's the hardest bit of it. When you're used to I mean, I'm a bit beyond uh, being out of the game a lot longer than Hask, but still eat a fair bit. And I think that's going to be hard, the hardest bit. What should he be most concerned about? <sighs> Having been there, done it, gone really well. We called you oh, no. perfectly. We said that you'd do really well for the first tranche and then you'd get tired and I hungry just and angry. together. What would have happened? What would have happened? Might not be here now. No, nah, it's over here with you lot. Um, what, what, okay. And uh, what, what, so A, what should he be most worried about? And B, what goes on behind the scenes yeah. that we don't see? Okay, I think it's really important to understand that what we see at home, it doesn't bear any resemblance to what goes on in that, in that, um, in that camp other than... The food is exactly how it is. A lot of people think you sort of nip round to a five-star hotel around the corner um, and get some food. You don't. You wake up when it's sunlight and you go to bed when it's dark, but you only go to bed when they finish doing all the interviews. I'd say it's very fun if you go into a mindset of it is a TV show and it's fun. But people took it quite seriously. And I think for, for, for a lot of celebrities in there, having not had a sports background, it's the biggest thing they've ever done. Whereas for me, it was like going on tour or pre-season to a dodgy, you know, when you low budget premiership club. <laughs> it was a, a formula, uh, a formula uh, uh, pre-season, right? And everyone's screaming and crying for their families. And I didn't have kids at the same time, but, but you know, the, the, obviously Mike has kids, so that I'm sure will be quite difficult. But actually, it's, it's an amazing experience. I just think you've got to stay calm, let everything wash over you, support other people and just do your chores. It, I think it's 21, 20 years in a row, best um, reality TV show it is an incredible honour your profile will go through all the fans who watch it are amazing and actually it's really really fun I, I, but it's the closest I've ever been to having a panic attack over not, not having any food how much prep have you done? none <laughs> are you literally just going to put on a pair of speedos and walk into the jungle for a month? yeah yeah. do you know anyone who's going in with you? nope that will obviously be revealed not, or not officially not you, you read what you read Boy George. Paper. You've got a bromance. We have Boy. Yeah, well, yeah, I've, boy already or been, I've already been given the laydown of how I've got to make sure I've got, oh, it's got this really good DJ friend of mine called James Haskell. Yeah. So basically, I'm going in as Has PR. Yeah. It's going to be like he's in there again. Can we have pain. like a little tell? Can you do like the catty earlobe or something on one of the challenges to let us know that you're thinking yeah. of us? Okay. What do you want it to be? Little earlobe. Yeah, little earlobe. Just to catty? let us know you're thinking of us. Yeah, just yeah. like that. Um, I think, I think you're going to love it. My recommendation is go in there, throw yourself into it, enjoy it. It is an amazing show. You'll see how cool Ant and Deck are and how good at what they are. You're going to do some wicked challenges. You're going to learn some stuff about yourself. I went in there and it's a bit awkward because we were in that crap camp and it was just one small toilet and you were like, Jesus, you know, and everyone sort of talked, does anyone meet a loo? And I was like, no. <laughs> but, you know, within three hours in there, I dropped a nuclear bomb in there. <laughs> um, and, all, all, you know, it wasn't... You had it to move camps. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, made, it, made, it made bad camp even worse. <laughs> they, I went, God, they're really pumpy in the smell of sewage here, isn't it? All them flies. God, they really have gone, blown the budget here. Do you fill a 40-foot hole? That's yeah. Just, like, no, we don't but also the weird, you have to empty your own, you have to empty your own thing in this chemical toilet thing I, I think there's a few saviors of little bits and pieces you can you can have in there like i said that you know i think there's some wet wipes in there as well which is quite nice um the showering the stinking i was going to say the sh talk us have you got a sort of timothy baddie das ambassadorial role lined up no. are you comfortable with that has to be to try to figure out whether i can wear my budgie smugglers in there or not. i don't know if you're allowed to do that I, I i think i tried to do that but i don't know if they let you but you might be able to do it but you've got to watch just stinking. Have you, have you worked on the rig or have you carbo loaded going in? Yeah, I, I haven't worked on the rig. I think it's going to be brilliant. I, no, I'm going to put money in that. But that's it. the thing. He's like, Hask, so, <laughs> Roman Kemp sort of messaged me. He goes, don't know whether you're going in, but don't listen to Hask or ring me for all the inside <laughs> scoop on so it. So what yeah. did Roman say? Uh, I haven't spoke to him. The people who pick it are brilliant. You know, a lady called Mickey who picks everyone. You know, they, they cherry pick people. Because someone like Naughty Boy that, from last year, you know, you knew that he was going to cause a load of friction in there because of just of his personality. Yeah. And so, but with ours, I think they thought, for example, maybe I was going to do that, but I, I didn't really. I only just reacted to something. It wasn't, but we, we were a very good team. But I think Mike's such a good team player. I think he'll go on and win it. I think he's going to be paternal and fraternal and put arms around people and make sure they're but all... he doesn't suffer fools. No, he doesn't. So you can mix with the fools. You just get hungry and angry. Yeah. He, he doesn't suffer fools. No. I'd be fine. <laughs> I think you could win it. I call it. I, see, you, yeah, I, I, it, yeah. call it, I think you you should. It's a bit harsh. I think you should I mean, win it. A bit strong. Should. No, I think you should because I think you you can handle it, and I think 
I think it will be. And you'll be like hugger. You'll be as one. Yeah, thing, you'll, you'll be. Yes. Yeah, you'll be ultimate hugger. Hopefully. Do you think you'll enjoy it, or are you just doing no, it? No, I think <clears throat> I think it will. I think it will enjoy it, but I think it does come down to the characters that are in there. I think it comes down to the other people in there to whether you enjoy it. Because someone was like, always, someone was like, always, do you, do you want to win? And I was like, well, it's not really out of my control to win. I'm not going in there going, I want to win because that's not how a team environment works because I can't do anything without the other people in there. It's, and you're a fool if you think that you can go in there with an active thing of saying, I can win this. Yeah. Well, you've got to be the people who are making sure whether you can win it are thousands of miles away. Just looking we'll at vote. You, you're judging. Yeah. Do you know like, your number yet? We'll put it up on the um yeah. we'll, we'll, know we'll put it up on the thing. On. Yeah. Can we just say good luck as well to the I'm a celeb audio engineers? <laughs> that's gonna be my big that's gonna be my opening gambit though, isn't it? It's gonna go, look, guys, if I snore, just wake me up whenever. I don't feel like Danny Grucox almost woke me up and I thought he was gonna kill me. So really? just wake me up. I think Bolsh I just snore. shouts at me. I think I snore. I think you're right with that. Think, you I snore, think. you're appalling. Yeah. I had to move rooms in Japan. Yeah. I had to get out of the double bed and go sleep on the sofa. That was yeah. the night when everyone else was in McDonald's. <laughs> um, th there will be a lot of that nighttime. They'll have like a little Richter scale in the bottom. Um, is there anything that makes you shudder, judder, boxes of snakes? Um, sleep, no. sleep underground? No. I, well, no, not in, in individual formats. So like creepy crawlies don't really bug me. Snakes don't really bug me. But but then you've, I've never been buried in a in may, maybe in a coffin with all those things or... You know that thing where you have to put where you had to put your hand through and try and unscrew yeah. that thing, and the damn crab won't get out of your yeah. way. Um, you know, you've never I've never been in a situation where you've got to put your hand into something where you don't really know what's in there. So, so at the moment, I'd say no, but that's their job. It's not my job, is it? What was the worst thing you did? I mean, eat, eating stuff was was pretty rank. I mean, one of the worst things they did. They you ever think about when you're eating stuff? This is just extra food for me. Uh, what was no, the worst thing you ate? No, uh, I mean, I, 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 a bull's eye, an actual eye. That the, yeah, they pop, it they popped, burst, it popped, yeah. but it tasted like rank beef, which you would imagine weird, the eye tastes like that, and then you have to eat chew through the lens. Um, I drank pig's, pig's penis, uh, fish, uh, fish arse, or fish, uh, just a uh, fish, fish brain, so fish brains, uh, pig dick, and something else, and then I... In the smoothie. But the worst thing that happened is they put a giant bug, uh, like a hissing cockroach in my mouth, and I had to hold it, and it was forcing its way out my mouth. It cut my mouth, right? And I was like messing around with it, like pretending I was okay. But then it almost fell out, and I had to then bite into it, but mm. but not hard enough to crack. It was rank. That was pretty awful. I'd say the the the, the smelling you stink. So all those bugs stink like terribly, and then they dump all that crap onto you. I mean, I avoided I avoided some of it, but that's the problem. Is you come back honking in that heat of cockroach and stuff, and then you know when you're doing it. You're so intent on winning and beating the and beating the challenge, trying to win the stars. You just don't care. Like I hate spiders, but I'd have like a huntsman on my face that would you'd, be, you'd just be trying to try to win it. But the best thing is because of um the RSPCA or whatever, you can't eat live animals now. Because if if I'd had to have eaten that like a live spider, remember that's firm firm mm. a can. Put a spider in a glass, span it round so it was live, and eat it. I would have died trying to do that. You don't you can't do that now. So that's and you also have to take care with the animals. Good luck. Thanks. You think it'll win? I think it'll win. I think it'll be I great. Think, I, I think, think as long win. as you as long as you remember its experience, you stay calm, you smile and just enjoy it and actually don't let anything phase you, um, then you'll be then you'll be absolutely fine. And, and I'd eat I'd eat like fuck before you go in. I wouldn't I wouldn't hammer the piss too much or and and, and coffee before you go in because you, you know and also the one trick I had that got me through it was I got a piece of chalk from one of the challenges and I wrote on the inside of my tent uh, on the wood everything that I missed. Because I could, you couldn't think. I, I can't tell you how weird it is, but you have hot water with no tea in it every day. I was having hot water with just bits of fruit in it to try to have something different than water. Um, and I'd write on it like chicken wings, malt loaf. Why would you do that? Because 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 otherwise, how would you express yourself? Because otherwise, you just talk about it. All everyone talks about is food. All day, every day. Food, food, food. So to write it down, the idea was that I'd remember it. So when I came out, those were the things that I, I had. What, what would you miss the most? What, what would you miss the most? Oh, well, I don't know, I food. Well, coffee. Well, obviously outside family. Um, <laughs> Got to get that in. Yeah, no, well, you have to. Uh, Gin. Uh, obviously. Yeah, I miss a beer every now and again. Sure, but. Cup of tea, uh, coffee? I can live without it. <laughs> I don't think anyone has ever reversed into the jungle in quite. He's going in on a lazy boy. Here, that's why I think. Not if you don't. That's what I think you'll. That's what I think yeah. you'll do well. Um, 
I'm I can't excited wait. for you. First also, challenge, he's going to be absolutely hysterical. It's going to be tears, yeah. snort, emotion, <laughs> blood. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be a wonderful juxtaposition. Well, you'll come out of it, good or bad. It's going to be an amazing roller coaster. And, and you'll be my guy pal, James Guy Haskell. pal. I'm with my guy pal. Guy pal DJ. Guy pal guidance. Guy, slash guy, guidance. Yeah. guy pal DJ and really good friend and associate. What's guy pal? It's just guy pals. Like girl pals. What's yeah. going to be quite nice is watching your social media recalibrate from just hat followers. <laughs> Into. I'm taking three fascinators in with me. Are you? That's my luxury item. There you go. Have you got? Are you allowed a luxury item? Uh, yes. What are you taking? A pillow on Hask's advice. Oh, An orthopedic clever. pillow. I mean, one of the girls took her concealer until I pointed out that she wasn't wearing makeup anyway. <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> what a That's not really hand. thinking ahead, that yeah. is it? Yeah. Taking a pillow. Yeah. But then I just thought wet wipes would be nice as well. They, 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 bring, they give them to you anyway. That's key, yeah. Right. Like a frame, frame float of Chloe. Or I was like, no thanks, take an orthopedic <laughs> pillow. I can't wait to see how it goes. Good luck. Uh, thank you. You're brave. We'll dial, we'll dial you up when you're finished. Yeah. Cool. I'm actually, I'm going to have to watch it. I've never watched it before. I've never watched it since. I've never what watched do you it watch? You don't watch any sport? You don't watch any light entertainment? I watch movies. Yeah. Just movies. I'm watching Aliens at breakfast, that Chloe's discussed at the moment. I just like watching movies, really. I don't really watch anything else. Um, I'm TV series, though. But I will watch it. I'm going to yeah, vote we'll the whole voting. time. We download the app. We will um, we'll put blast we the number we have viewing parties? Yeah, we could do that, couldn't we? we? Yeah, GBI quality. viewing yeah. parties. We'll nestle in. Budge up, budge up. Yeah. Popcorn. yeah, let's do it. Nice. Good luck. Oh, well. Hold on tight. See you on the other side. 